What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up, Sunseeds? What's up? This is your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sunseeds, but as much as it resonates, just please make sure you do discernment, take what resonates, and leave the rest behind. Let's tap in, Sunseeds. Let's tap in. Let's check on the energy. Let's see what the energy is surrounding you guys at this time. Let's see what the most important message is. Holy Spirit wants you guys to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my answers of the highest way light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, Archangel uh, Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest way light, please close, shut, and block that door, please, and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy? Thank you. So first card out, we have the moon, divine feminine energy, um, also things that's hidden, hidden emotions, um, dreams. There's some type of secrets here. Mm -hmm. Somebody also could be doing shadow work. We have the queen of swords under the bottom with a karmic partner. Guardian Angel, Astral Travel, and Light Worker, Soul Tribe, Leo, Throat Chakra. So you could be no, you could know some truth about a karmic partner. Someone who's dealing with a karmic partner. Your angels are definitely here protecting you, guiding you, assisting you. Um in case this energy is trying to astral travel to you. This can be hidden. Somebody, whoever this karmic partner is that's trying to astral travel to you. Yeah. I feel like you're protected. Floodgates, abundance, success, prosperity, hidden. Something can be hidden about your abundance. Or, you know, um, it's giving like your guardian angels. They are cloaking you, in, you know, in case somebody's trying to like tap into your energy, astral travel to you. Okay. Somebody want what you have, I heard. Okay, this could be hidden from you. Maybe you don't know know this person. We have Virgo, and we have Energy Vampire. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could be a Virgo. But there's the Energy Vampire who's very manipulative, um, someone who's trying to pick, play the victim, possibly gaslighting. Okay, whoever this Energy Vampire is, um, it's like they're trying to. This, this this karmic energy is trying to hide. But your guardian angel is on it. Okay? Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, chosen. You're chosen. I feel like your guardian angel is cloaking you. Like, okay? If somebody's trying to astral travel to you, tap into your energy, they can't get in. You have so much protection around you, Sunseed. So much protection. Five of Cups. There's some type of regret here. Let's give him... Uh, somebody's obsessed with this chosen one. Somebody view you as a guy. Someone who's very powerful. You can have an old soul. But you're a warrior in the um, spirit, okay? <clears throat> Whatever this divine mission is, um, this energy vampire wants whatever that, whatever this mission you on, um, whatever you bring here, <clears throat> whatever your divine calling is, somebody wants some of that. You know, it's giving like um, this person wants your supply. They want your energy. But I feel like whoever this energy is, you pulled you pulled back from them. Okay, you pull back from, and you know, this, this, you know, with any narcissist or energy um, vampire, you know, once you pull your energy back from them, you know, it's it's cut off, it's dead, it's over, you know. Somebody could have been living off or you know, off of your energy, but now that they no longer have your energy, somebody is could be acting out. They could be acting out. They don't want to let you go. Somebody view you as chosen because you are. 
and somebody needs that supply to live off of, but you have cut the cord. You can you you, you disconnect it. You're not thank you. You're not feeding the well, thank you, Holy Spirit. You're not feeding this energy anymore. And if you want to kill anything, you starve it. You know that. We have divine masculine here, Mercury, King of Earth. And what is this? Pluto. So there's some type of change here. Okay. Um, Pluto, King of Earth, and King of Swords. Yeah. So you and your um you and someone else, okay, could be a counterpart of yours. Um, but we've seen the Queen of Swords earlier. Now we got the King of Swords. Um, someone sees the truth about someone and they cut them off. Yeah, the world card, something is over with. Mm-hmm. This could be somebody who's operating in a shadow side. Yeah. But somebody wants what you have. Whatever this world card is, whatever success achievements um that you have or, or will be um or what's coming in for you, somebody is aware of it. Somebody is aware of it. And they want this. But this is somebody who's operating in a dark, unhealthy side, a sh shadow side, with the Mercury and the um, Divine Masculine. I feel like you're about to receive some type of uh, communication from your Divine Masculine. Okay? Maybe you want your Divine Masculine of a karmic partner. Okay? You or your Divine Masculine could have been, you know, experienced this. But someone is seeing the truth about whoever the karmic is. This Divine Masculine is about to rush in and communicate with you. Maybe at one time, um, you know, your divine masculine was feeding into the energy because, uh, you know, the into the, you know, they was maybe they was operating at a shadow side, so they couldn't see something clearly. But with the King of Swords being here, someone sees the truth about a situation. Okay, um, this is someone who's making a head over heart um, decision. Yeah, somebody is realizing something. There's a change here. Um, this King of Earth and this King of Swords, maybe they was, um, married to this person and, um, or gave this person some type of relationship or commitment, but somebody is seeing the truth and whoever this divine masculine, they rushing in, communicating with you at the closing out of cycle. We have, look at this, spiritual gifts and divine feminine. Yeah. I'm telling you, whoever this karmic was that was attached to this divine masculine or you divine feminine, take it how it resonate. Somebody knows that you're spiritually gifted. They know that. Somebody could have been messing with you for years, I just heard. S somebody wanted your energy. Yeah. But whoever this energy is, they getting busted by the divine. They being called out. Mm-hmm. Somebody is getting dumped. Period. Okay. A cycle is being closed out. People are now seeing the truth. Okay. There was some shadow work that was done here. Um, I feel like the only reason why people was entertaining whatever, whoever this karmic partner was, is because somebody was operating in their they shadow side. Yeah, but somebody is not messing around with this karmic energy anymore. And they want to communicate with you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Yeah, there's the empire here that's that's being built. Yeah. With the lovers, Gemini, Scorpio energy, empire. Divine feminine, you could be leaving somebody out in the cold. Maybe you have options, okay? Maybe you chose someone else, okay? Yeah, Akashi Records. Somebody's trying to... What's this moon card, Holy Spirit? What's this moon energy? Somebody is telling somebody they do not want a relationship with them, okay? <clears throat> somebody, yeah, Ace of Swords, somebody, Divine Union. Somebody is telling somebody they do not want a relationship with them. And somebody is literally, um, this karmic partner could have been definitely trying to attack you, Divine Feminine. And your Divine Masculine could be now awakening, awakening to that. What's the moon card? What's hidden? Crossroads, Decision, Akashi Records, and Mercury. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're about to receive some type of communication. Um, something. This person is making a decision. This whoever this person is that's coming in, they already made their final decision. Okay, because with this Akashi Records, um, I feel like somebody was trying to tap into your Akashi Records, or you, um, 
or you have unlocked some type of um some type of secret from the past or your you know the present or the future something that you unlock where somebody it, it's just like they can't ignore it somebody is seeing something clearly now divine masculine yeah divine masculine now spiritual gift both of you guys are very gifted somebody did something that they was forbidden not to do what's the moon card they was black magic I, they was forbidden not to do somebody is getting a reality check and somebody is moving on. Jupiter. Jupiter speaks all about good fortune, expansion, success, wealth, um, growth, achievement. I'm telling you, I, like I said earlier, I feel like you being cloaked. Somebody trying to tap into your Kashi records, they not getting anything. You're the only one who got access to that. Okay? You and your spirit team. Okay? Yeah. Divine masculine, Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, you can have new love. Okay, you can have new love, but I feel like two energies coming together who broke some type of um, generational curse. Mm -hmm. Two energies that are healing, broke some type of generational curse, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, two people who are powerful light workers that's coming together with this moon card and Jupiter. I just feel like King of Swords, that's the truth. Someone is getting busted for trying to tap into your Kashi records. Trying to do something behind the scenes when it comes to, you know, your achievements and great fortune. This energy vampire wanted that for themselves. They wanted that for themselves. Yeah, whoever you are, you're a hard worker, deep thinker. Okay, you're someone who's very intelligent. Give me more Virgo energy vampire. Whoever you are, Virgo, I feel like you're someone who's very responsible, very faithful. Uh, somebody wanted to attach themselves to you and take your energy. <clears throat> this was a karmic partner. Somebody is awakening to this karmic, toxic, obsessive, envious, manipul manipulative person. Okay? Someone is going to have to deal with some type of penalties. Pentities. I can't pronounce it right. Y'all know what I mean. Pentates. I can't pronounce it right. Somebody did something that was the ultimate, was, was like very disrespectful. I heard the ultimate disrespect. Empire. Throat. Guardian angel. There's some type of communication that's coming in. Okay. Somebody who you who you talking to or somebody who's coming in that you're going to build a legacy with, an empire. Something needs to be cleared out. Give me more on this karmic partner. Mars. This was something that somebody who somebody was sleeping with. Somebody could have definitely been um trying to attach some, some to attach or, ooh, attach something to somebody's sacral shock or somebody was feeding off of that. Somebody this is whoever this energy is, they feel this is somebody who has to sleep with someone in order to get their energy. Yeah, they have to feed off of that. They was feeding off someone's energy for a long time. What's the Mars energy? Ace of Cups. Wow. King of Swords. Someone is getting cut out. Someone is getting cut out and they decided to go towards new romance, new love, a new beginning. Somebody, Mars clarifying Ace of Cups. Somebody's also realizing that it wasn't no love. It was just lust and passion. Somebody is lusting over you, chosen one. This Ace of Cups is giving someone is lusting over a chosen one. Give me messages on the King of Swords. Yeah, they lusting over you. Somebody knows that you're chosen. Okay? This person can have some type of inner child wounded. Um, yeah, inner child wounded. Um, somebody, somebody can't stop watching you. I heard they feeding off of you. 
somebody feels abandoned by you, they feel like they feel ooh, they feel lost. This could have been somebody who was married to you decided to divorce, or somebody who just separated from. Okay, you or your divine masculine, divine masculine or divine feminine. Okay, flip flop the rose. But someone was in a relationship or married to someone who was a karmic that was feeding off of their sexual energy. They was lusting over them. Okay, they knew what the ace, of, the Mars clarifying ace of cups. They knew that someone was chosen. Okay, they knew that someone was chosen. They knew someone was powerful. They knew someone who had had a great destiny, um, great fortune, achievement. They they was trying to somebody went and try to tap tap into somebody Akashi records. Whatever little bit they found out, it was enough for them to keep trying to attach themselves to to you or your person. Somebody found out the truth and they broke free. You could have gotten a download or, you know, your spirit team could have gave you some type of information about this energy. Okay, with the moon card to the, with the Jupiter, I feel like you're in it, um, you know, your team was hiding your your Jupiter, okay? They was, it was, it, your, your fortune was being hidden from this person because this was, this person was trying to take it. So you could have been in a situation where like you knew, okay, if you have access to the Akashi records or you know your destiny or you know your purpose and you know that, you know, um, which is everybody's birthright, you know, to be abundant and free. If you know that and you felt like you kept running into roadblocks, roadblocks, it's not that that was, it's not that you wasn't going to get what the divine already, what already, what divine said, what was yours. It could have just been because this person was in your life. Okay. So something was just delayed into this energy. See, you, you know, it's a lot that go on in the spiritual room that you don't, you don't know, but your team know it's a lot that's hidden. Okay, so if something is a delay. If it's a delay, it's not a denial. God is not going to grant you your Jupiter. Okay, when you have someone in, around you still in your energy, that's an energy vampire. Somebody needed to let go. It was time for this person to go. Whoever was gaslighting, draining you, causing illusions to you or your divine masculine. For some of you guys, you have new love coming in. And if you had no idea what this person was going through, they was going through the same thing you was going through. For others of you guys who you know that you have a counterpart, you and um you or your counterpart was experienced this. What's this um energy vampire? Energy vampire. Soul tribe. Wow. Akashi records. Communication. Opportunists. So this is somebody who you, like I said, this could be somebody you was very close to. You consider this, this person to be a part of your soul tribe. Somebody was so obsessed with you, they were trying to get in your Akashi records. Somebody was trying to get close to you because they was an opportunist, okay? Whatever this communication is that you're going to receive, it's going to expose everything that you need to know about this person. Divine Feminine and Black Magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to realize. Yep. You're going to find out all the secrets, Divine Feminine. Okay. Somebody was doing something behind the scenes in regards to your love life and your money. Venus energy. Okay. There's a tower here, Queen of Cups, and you turn. Somebody wants you to turn turn back around and come back, but you're not. Okay, Pluto, you're not. There's a change here. Black magic, divine union. I'm telling you, somebody knew how powerful this union was. Look, light worker, divine union. Somebody was doing black magic over someone's divine union. Someone know that somebody had a divine counterpart. Someone knows that somebody has a destined future. And somebody was attacking that because they're jealous. Okay? Light worker, divine union, and black magic. They are jealous. Okay? This is somebody who's in the shadow watching and stalking. Miserable. Okay? Yeah, solid two and five D. I feel like you. This is you. You rock. At, I feel like you've been rocking by yourself. Yeah, the world card, spiritual gifts, and third eye. Whoever you are, at Ace of Swords. Somebody could be watching you. Um, Crown Shocker. You very tapped in. Okay. Somebody could be watching you. Okay. Um, this this world card. This could be something online. You could have social media. You could have a um, social media platform that you share your spiritual gifts. Okay. Uh, um, for some of you guys, um, you guys, like I said, you, you just, these spiritual gifts is going to, it's going to make way for you 
and other people, okay, that's going through situations like this. I feel like you ended up, you ended out a tough cycle. It's a completion. You feel a whole. Somebody watching you have a new beginning with this world card. Is you feel a whole. Okay, whatever this ending is, you feel a whole. You get a new beginning. Okay. Um, you could be definitely getting a lot of upgrades when it comes to your spiritual gifts. Your third eye is on popping. Okay, I'm hearing shit popping. <laughs> okay, you definitely have higher wisdom. Okay, you got a lot of cl um, clarity. You could be all the clears as well, but you have great discernment. Ace of Swords. There's some type of truth that you see here. Um, you definitely could be, um, yeah, good news. Expect good news, okay? Your crown shocker should have warned, um, could have, I heard should have warned you. Ooh. Your crown shocker could have warned you when it came to this person, okay? Somebody also could have been ignoring the red flags, okay? The sun card to the eight of pentacles. Something that you do for work make you very happy. Somebody is jealous of what you do for work. Okay. I feel like your, um, your guardian angel, your ancestors, they all stepped in. Okay. They stepped in. I'm hearing they, they blocked them from your energy. What's the moon card, Jupiter? Please and thank you. Yeah, your ancestors blocked this person from your energy. Yeah, eight of cups, king of swords. Somebody is seeing the truth. Okay. Yeah, and they're walking away. They're walking away. Somebody was just. Somebody is just. Is is lusted. It, it was. It wasn't nothing on here. Somebody just don't. They don't have nothing to offer. They just want to sleep with you, be next to you because you know somebody knows your destiny. Not a wand. This person is very insecure. You make this person insecure. I'm hearing. King. Um. I'm sorry. Knight of Cups. Four of Swords. Whoever this person is that was very flighty, um, that was coming in to court you. This could be, like I said, somebody who was like, you know, let's hang out. Let's go grab dinner. Let's go let's go catch a movie. Let's, but but they're night. They're in and out. They're night. They come in, you know, act like they want to, you know, give you this romantic um, offer. But then something quickly comes to rest. Four swords. It's like once they, once they sleep, sleep with you, get what they want, they go about their business. I'm just the messenger, okay? And so my divine masculine is the same way you, you know, you wonder why did you know, this woman is keep in and out your life. Okay. It's, it's because somebody seen that halo on your head and they seen that they seen it. Somebody see you walking in your divinity and it makes them very insecure. There's somebody who doesn't want to do the work. Okay. They don't want to do the work. Somebody chooses to be in a shadow side. Somebody chooses to be in karmic energy. So what they do is they know that they're closest to someone who's very chosen, um, who's on a divine mission, who's in a purpose. So they want to come in and try to sleep with you and attach yourself to you because they're an energy vampire. Give me more on this energy. Yeah, seven of wands and it fell out on chosen. You're protected. You're protected. I also heard your ancestors blocked them from your energy. Give me a card on the forest toward. As someone is healing, they're realizing the truth about someone. Yeah, they got mental clarity. Somebody could be definitely rushing and trying to communicate with you. Ace of Wands to the Fool card to the Six of Wands. Yeah, you get in a new beginning. You freed yourself from this person. Mm -hmm. You could be getting a lot of attention, being a public eye. But the Ace of Wands to the Six of Wands, this is um, success, victory, rewards, accolades, fame. The Fool card is taking a leap of faith, new beginning, going on an adventure. Okay. Something like I said with the Ace of Wands, something that you do is that's very that you're very um some type of you know creative project or something that you do um that shows your talent, your art, your art, your effort, it, it brings you in a lot of success, or it will be, okay? And, and whatever this is, it's a great service, it's a great loving service to the divine, and that's why they seven of wands, they block this person because you're not meant to be tied down to that type of energy. No. Page of Cups. Somebody played on someone's innocent. Um, what's the Page of Cups? I, you're gonna be. Um, somebody wants to come and apologize to you as well. The Moon card. Yeah, cause they in their feelings. Why they in their feelings? Feelings and emotions. I feel like they ignored their intuition. What's the Moon card? 
the moon card is clarified with the queen of cups. Somebody ignored their intuition. And now there's with the devil card, the lovers. Somebody sad. Somebody sad. The lovers to the devil. This is a karmic. Somebody chose a karmic over you. And now I'm telling you that they sad. They and their feelings and their emotions. And they want to come in and apologize. Yeah, your divine masculine, they realize they were dealing with someone who was an opportunist and they want to come in and communicate with you. I'm hearing you're so amazing. Somebody loves talking to you. They love being around you. But it's like when they was dealing with this energy, it's like somebody, they could have, they could have, you know, felt like you was against them. You was doing something to them. It's like somebody couldn't think clearly. This this is this karmic had them thinking that. Oh child. That's why somebody somebody could be insecure. You know, oh, oh, thank you, Spirit. They they was insecure because somebody okay, so a lot of you guys, you was already walking in your divinity. You awakened before this person. And it made them insecure. So they ran from you. I'm just a messenger. They ran from you. They cut you out, okay? They settled for a low vibrational karmic energy because somebody felt like they was not ready to do the work. Now that somebody is healing from somebody who they was in a relationship with, it might they might be struggling. It might be hard for this person, but they are healing, okay? Somebody is, is you make somebody insecure because they feel like you fully in your purpose, justice. You're about to get justice. Whatever was slowed down or somebody was slowing up, you know, um, yeah, the tower card. Somebody was all doing this out of jealousy. Somebody was behind the scenes who was trying to slow down a divine union from coming in. All out of jealousy. Somebody was very jealous and hateful. What's the tower? This is somebody who they, somebody thought somebody was part of their soul tribe. They thought they, nah, -uh, that was not. The tower is clear about with the five of pentacles. Somebody is leaving someone out in the cold. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody realized how, how somebody eat a death card. Yeah, something is over with. King of Cups. Yeah. Something is um, happening a year later. So maybe something happened a year ago. And now you just now receiving communication from this person. Or you haven't spoken to this person in a year with Eight of Wands in Reverse. But, but energy vampire, somebody's cutting out an earth sign. Leave them out in the cold. The death card, something is over with. King of Cups. Okay. Because there's a soulmate um, connection here. Two people that's meant to be together. I can't make it up. Two people that's meant to be together. Empress, Six of Cups, the Temperance, the High Friend, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I cannot make it up. Two people are meant to be working together. Somebody tried to stop that. Whoever this person is, two of swords. What's the six of cups? This... Yeah, the hangman. Somebody from someone's past has been trying to delay them. Page of swords, major delays. Somebody from somebody's past has been trying to delay them from working with you. What's the page of swords? Yeah, they in regret. Somebody's in regret because they missed out. Ten of swords, something is over with. You don't want to work with them. Four of pentacles, you're no longer holding on to the situation. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles to the star card. Look at this. Period. Ace of Swords, Spirit is saying. Ace of Swords to the Wheel of Fortune. The Sun card, Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. You can listen. You're getting a breakthrough. You get a new beginning. Ten of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. Something that's going to be wish fulfillment. Okay? There's a divine union that's about to come in. Um, that's about to come into union. Okay? There's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of communication. Ten of Cups. Something is something you're gonna make you very happy, both of you guys. It, it it was hard for somebody. I'm gonna be honest. It was hard for somebody to open their eyes about a situation because whoever the person that that was doing this, they was very close to them. This soul tribe is somebody who they thought was for them. They thought was they thought it was their peoples. Okay, they thought it was their people. They they could trust us. So it was somebody very close to them that was doing this. Come to find out, the whole time this person had it out for them. Now somebody is realizing, and they worry. Mm. Let me get you guys some signs and close this out. I got to close this out. Scorpio, 
and Libra energy here. Somebody feels like they owe it to you to make things right. Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody feel like they ruined things with you because of this. Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Gemini, Leo. But somebody needed to go to do this. You know? Somebody's son could be in college. Mm. I love you guys so very much. Until we get up next time, later, sun seeds.